If you're a mid-century modern man, you need one. If you're looking for the perfect gift for a mid-century modern man, you need to give one. And if you're obsessed like me, you've got one. I'm talking about automatic watches. Go. I'm Timothy Sands and this is Fashionable Father. If you are one of the lucky ones and have subscribed early, welcome back. If you're new here, also welcome and subscribe if you're so inclined. We have videos about fatherhood, we have videos about fashion, and today we have videos about watches, automatic watches, and yes, what I believe is the perfect gift for the mid-century modern man. Now, a couple weeks ago, I did talk about my obsession, my new obsession with automatic watches, and also what little rabbit hole I went down in my search for the perfect automatic watch that didn't break the bank. I'll link that video in the description below if you're curious about a little history on this. So today I wanna to talk about the automatic watches that I think have a perfect mid-century modern feel and look and just kinda of evoke the feeling of the 60s and that era. Also the one that I eventually got that I highly recommend and it also won't break the bank. And if you wanna tune in a little longer, I'll tell you my entire collection of watches that I've had for quite a while now. So if you don't know what an automatic watch is, it's a watch that winds itself while you walk. It does not need a battery and it does not need to be wound unless you let it sit too long and then you need to refresh it and wind it up again. But as long as you're wearing it, it pretty much stays wound um, or stays um, moving. And that is why I think automatic watches are the perfect mid-century modern gift for the mid-century modern man because it's, I feel like it's right before the era of batteries and when batteries kind of and the quartz movement took over and it kind of hankers back to a time where we didn't have a lot of technology, but this technology was so perfectly capable for the daily use, right? All right, so the first one is the Timex Marlin automatic. This is an actual, uh, I think second um, run of a Marlin. They actually have a first Marlin edition as hankers back to the 60s. Um, like I think the original 69 Marlin and um, I would put that on the list and I love that watch and I probably would get that watch but it's a $200 watch and it um, you have to wind it it's not an automatic so the Marlin automatic would be the one I'd probably go with and it comes with many color schemes it's a 40 millimeter case I think my favorite color scheme is the navy blue with the uh, the golden uh, the gold number insignias and the uh, golden crown um, like I love a mix of gold and silver, especially when the gold is just highlighted and that navy blue It's just so dark. Um, I love that. I would totally get this. I, I Couldn't bring myself to spend that much money on that watch and um, I know it's not a lot of money But I'm thinking you can get so much more value out of other watches at a letter uh, less price point up next um, the one I think I would absolutely love is a Seiko Presage the um, item number on it. Hold on SRPB43J1. And I say the J1 specifically because it has a light blue ribbed face that to me evokes, absolutely evokes mid-century modern. It has such a cool, um, I think they call it the cocktail watch. And I think it hankers to a cocktail watch that they only sell in Japan. I don't know. It's beautiful. It's nice. It's classy. And it just evokes that era perfectly in my opinion. This comes in at like $350 right around there, depending on where you get it. It's a 40 millimeter case, so it's um, kind of around that medium size. And I think it would look good on most wrists, probably not a small wrist. Beautiful watch, love it. Perfect gift for a mid-century modern man. Right, so my last recommendation is the French made Baltic watch. These bad boys, in my opinion, are the quintessential mid-century modern evoke vintage style. They have great, great color schemes. I'm talking about the three hand one. I think it's the cheapest. There's chronographs that are amazing as well. Um, but I like it. It's like a 38 millimeter, which is a, in my opinion, a perfect case size, especially for what I like and also my wrist. And it also has uh, many color schemes that you can choose from. My favorite is the cream dial with the blue hands is perfectly designed perfect colors and i would probably get this uh it's 360 dollars so um i'm not dropping that kind of dime on a watch right now 
Maybe when my uh, YouTube channel blows up, I'll, I'll buy five of these watches. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, I like this watch. I love this watch. It's probably my favorite. And um, yeah, I think it probably, yeah, the perfect gift for the mid-century modern man. Baltic watch, three-hand Baltic watch. Now tell me in the comments below which one is your favorite amongst all the watches I just mentioned. And now for the one that I eventually got I searched long and hard. I went down a rabbit hole. As you well know, if you watched the video, there are lots of watches in the Seiko 5 line that you can choose from. And many styles, many designs, they all you know, shift subtly in different directions. And it's hard to choose, I will be honest, because there's so many and they're all pretty affordable. Seiko SNXS 73J1. subtle silver face it has like this perfect little sunburst on it and also i kind of like that rectangle look on it because it has it kind of again evokes that perfect mid-century modern look to me it kind of hankers back to that era of course had to put a leather band on it from my man teddy's wristband shop I got the taupe color with this vintage looking, awesome mid-century modern Seiko 5. This is a fantastic gift, especially if you do not want to break the bank on this bad boy. I mean, $99, come on. I mean, I might be uh, uh, between 100 and 130, depending on where you get it, but still that's a great deal for the watch. The band came in at like 50 bucks, so I'm only in at like a buck 50 for this bad boy, and it's beautiful. It is pretty. Highly recommend it if you're looking for a gift for someone or if you're just looking for an automatic watch to wear for a long period of time, right? You don't have to worry about the battery running, running out. It's gonna run for a long time and it's just gonna, it's gonna have that stay power that, that I think we all should look for in life right now, right? We should get stuff that we're gonna have for a long time, not stuff that we're replacing every two years. Everything in electronics now is two years, two years. Replace it, two years, new thing, the new thing, the new thing. Get a watch like this, keep it. Give it to your kids, right? That's what I think is so amazing about it. And, and get something that has that cool, you know, solid vintage look that's gonna, gonna have some staying power and, and you're gonna wear it for a long time and, and not have to worry about the latest trend. I love my watch. All right, so into the watch collection that is already in my hands. I do not have any automatic watches currently. Well, I do now. First up is the Bulova. Bulova is a watch I got from uh, J. Crew. It's a little big. I don't know the size of it. I think it's over 40 millimeters. And I think that's why I haven't worn it as much because it does seem a little obtrusive for me. It looks pretty good. You've probably seen it in videos. Next watch I have is the Withings. It's actually a quasi smart watch. It actually tracks my steps. Don't really care. Cared for about um, maybe a week. It's, you know, attaches to your phone. Um, but that's all it does. It just tracks my steps. I just like the style of it. I like the fashion of it. It's black or it's got a black band and I wear a black uniform at work. So um, it's my work watch. Boom, my Timex. Timex Indigo Gold Watch. I think these are making a comeback. I got this at Urban Outfitters a long time ago. Was rocking it at uh, the door um, when I was working the door in Hollywood and or West Hollywood. It's still one of my favorite watches. I actually just replaced the battery in it. Um, yeah, look at that bad boy. Bam. I probably could wear this again. The gold, I'm not huge on the gold. Back in the day I was, but uh, not much anymore. My favorite watch. Um, well, probably not my favorite now, now that I got my Seiko 5. But this bad boy, got this at Urban Outfitters too. When I saw it there, again, a long time ago, it's a Citizen. I don't even know the model number on this bad boy, but uh, it's got a green face. Again, I like my silver with little gold highlights a gold crown. I had to have it as soon as I, as soon as I saw it. I was like, um, I'm getting that Citizen watch. And it was my favorite. I wear it obviously with all my suits. It's been my, been my go-to watch and my favorite for a long time. However, 
It's got that metal band and wow, does that pull on the hairs. Ooh. And now, you know, to add to the lineup, my Seiko 5 automatic leather band from Teddy. I will tell you again, I believe that it is the perfect gift for the mid-century modern man. Um, a cool automatic watch, vintage looking. My name is Timothy Sands. This is my story of fashion and fatherhood. Please tell me in the comments below which one is your favorite watch. Uh, maybe also uh, something that inspired you of recent that has a vintage awesome appeal. And hit me in the comments and tell me which ones that you would recommend um, as well. And subscribe if you're so inclined. Like the video if you got any inspiration or have gone down another rabbit hole like me and want to look for the perfect watch, which I guarantee you, you will find many to choose from. Many, many, many to choose from. All right, I guess that is it. Have a good one. Enjoy your afternoon. And do you got anything to say, Arthur? Yeah. What do you want to say? I know what we need to say. <laughs> Always remember, style first. <laughs> That's my boy. You want to do that on camera? Uh, yeah. Come here. Okay, okay. I come in. <laughs> There's my boy. He's still in his pajamas. That's how much we're doing today. <laughs> What's that on your chest? Playing with. Yeah. What's his name? Um, Peso? Peso. <laughs> I got your Peso. Peso? Yeah. Right, well, I got the bit. Okay. Okay, okay. A little pop. Okay. The play still. Show the show the camera peso. Camera peso. Yeah, that's peso. Here. And then name's peso. Mm hmm.